Hello everyone, Marco here from Crypto Mining Lab and welcome to another video. Today we're going to be discussing the, uh, the noise, redu reducing noise on the, these ASICs miners. Uh, so basically uh, from factory th those machines come with a, a very uh, high speed fans uh, to ensure the, the cooling, uh, the proper cooling for, for, the, uh, for the chips and for the money itself which is very crucial and so basically those machines were meant to run 24 hours they did never they never considered the the noise level those machines are producing because they were meant to uh, mine in a mining farm in an environment where the uh, the noise is not a big issue but as crypto mining becoming more and more popular a lot of people are running those uh, these miners uh, at home in a garage uh, and the noise becomes really annoying. So, what we're gonna discuss today is we're gonna try to find a way, a different ways to reduce the noise from your ASIC miner. Uh, specifically today, we're gonna be talking about uh, a script miner. And for our example today, we have here the Bitmain and Mining L3 Plus, which is a script miner mining on Litecoin. And the reason why it's possible to uh, reduce reduce noise on these because the script miner doesn't doesn't really run on a high uh, to uh, hashing hashing rate, so it we can we can reduce uh, the noise uh, controlling the fan speed without uh, without compromising the uh, the safety and the. The uh, normal uh, operation of the miner itself. Comparing to a Bitcoin miner, this is going to be really difficult because uh, the hash rate on the uh, Bitcoin network is really high. So those these miners are going to run really, really high uh, hash rates. So they're going to work really hard, which will produce more heat and require more cooling. But on a script miner. Since the, the hash rate is still low, it's possible to reduce noise and uh, at least make it uh, bearable. For our example today, we're going to be using this uh, L3, L3 Plus. As you can see here, this is not a brand new unit. It's a, a second hand unit, but it was refurbished. So it looks like brand new, but actually it's not. So what they've done is they changed the, the frame the fans, the data cables, as well as this uh, uh, control board socket. So from the outside, it looks like brand new. And actually, even the hash boards inside were like clean, really, really good. So it looks like a brand new miner, but in fact, it's not because these miners they came out like back in 2017 uh, till I think they stopped the production back in 2019. So. It's, there's no way you can get a, a brand new L3 Plus in the market right now. Uh, the first thing you have to consider when you're trying to reduce the noise from your miner is your power supply because the power supply itself makes a lot of noise, especially those that come with uh, with these miners from factory. They make a lot of noise. So the first thing you need to consider is upgrade or uh, change your uh, power supply unit. The one we have here, it's it's not it's not the one that they came with this miner, but it will do the job because this one is rated at one thousand eight hundred watts, and this 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 particular miner L three plus from factory it requires only eight hundred watts. So this is uh, good enough to run this miner. We're not talking about uh, overclocking or whatever. Even with overclocking, this this power supply unit is going to be good enough. So the first thing you need to test is we're going to see how much noise this power supply is making without even running the, uh, the miner itself. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just plug the, the, the power supply. And as you can hear, it's not making, making much noise. So this is a very quiet uh, power supply unit. And the next thing is the fans that come with the with the miner itself. But so basically, we have two fans: one in the the rear section and one in the front for 
uh, uh, acting as an instructor for the heat. From factory, those, those miners come with a, a very high speed fans. As I said earlier, because they were never meant to be used uh, in a living environment. So they didn't consider the, the fact that those high speed fans, they make a lot of noise. So there's two ways you can reduce noise uh, from from your asset miner, and the first thing is we said, as we said, this is the you have to uh, change your power supply unit. So to reduce the noise from the power supply unit, the second is your miner, the miner itself. The miner itself, you have two options here. You have the software option where you can control uh, the fan speed, and the second. The second option is where you can change, uh, you can upgrade your fans. Right now, though, this miner comes with uh, with the fans that run at 12 volts with uh, 2.7 uh, 2.7 amps. Means that these fans can run up to 7,000 RPM, which is really high. Here we have this is like. Uh, uh, would say an upgraded fan. This one is rated at 12 volts and 0.4 amp, which is very low. Basically, this one, this particular fan, will run a maximum speed of 3,000 RPM, which is more than half of these. So, what we're gonna do today is, first of all, we're gonna show you how how to try to reduce the noise uh, from your uh, ASIC miner just using the software without having to upgrade your, your fans. <clears throat> and the next step, what we're gonna do is, we're gonna switch these fans and see how much noise we can reduce without altering the software itself. But the, the, there are things you have to keep in mind that that will dip, really depends on your uh, climate and your, uh, your ambient temperature. So, if you're living in an area where, where the weather is really hot, then it's really hard to reduce the noise since you, you want to uh, the maximum cooling for your miner. But a lot of people that live in a, in, in a cold, cold, cold weather, or let's say in winter time, where you can really reduce, where the weather is really cold and you can reduce the, 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 uh, the fan speed. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go through the software <coughs> and for this purpose we're going to use this L3 Plus and we're going to use the uh, stock software, the original software from the factory. This particular one has the 2017 uh, firmware, the old one. Within the software we have the option where we can control the uh, fan speed dirty cycle. So we can specify how much dirty cycle we're going to run in percentage like let's say 50%, 60%, 70%, 50%, whatever you want to run. And then you're going to run your miner for a while and see how much uh, temperature you're running. So you want to keep your uh, your miner cool and the chips, are, uh, chips cool so you don't overheat your miner. So the first thing you have to do is you check first, we're going to check first how much uh, temperature we're getting from running the, the fans with a with the factory settings so and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to reduce the fan speed to a level where we still can keep the miner cool uh, without without compromising the uh, normal operation of the uh, miner itself but in the same time we're gonna reduce the noise from the miner so I'm gonna go ahead and plug in this miner and we'll let it run for five minutes or ten minutes and I'm gonna show you on the computer how much uh, temperatures are running on these and the fan speed and as well as the noise so the first thing I'm gonna do right now is just plug it in and show you how much noise this miner is making from factory with this factory settings and at the beginning obviously the miner is gonna run on the run the fan test so at the beginning we're gonna hear really uh, a big noise so the fans are gonna spin to the maximum speed and then after that, the software will adjust the fan speed uh, according to the, to the chip's uh, temperature. 
okay it's recommended to use you know uh, uh, bo both uh, power plugs for for the uh, for the hash pot but for our test purpose we're gonna just use uh, one si single power since we're not gonna run in any uh, any overclocking or whatever so I'm gonna just connect this and turn it on So we're done here. I'm gonna just plug the internet cable, the ethernet cable here in the rear of the, the, the control board. And then I'm gonna turn on the miner. Bear in mind just the noise is gonna be uh, really loud at the beginning because the miner, the software is gonna run the speed test at the, the start line. Alright, so the miner has been running for 5 minutes right now, uh, a little bit more than 5 minutes, and the hash rate is up to the maximum. Uh, as you, This is the noise you get from the, the factory settings of the miner itself using the uh, factory uh, uh, fans. Right now, at the moment, the fans are running at 3700 uh, RPM. Uh, I'm going to go through the computer and show you guys the temperatures and as well as the fan speed. Okay, here we are at the minor interface. Uh, as we can see here, the hash rate is up to the, the, the factory standard, uh, which is 500 uh, mega hash per second. Here are the chip temps. So, it's between 54 to 57 uh, degrees uh, Celsius. And as we can see here, the fan speed is at 3750. This is the rear uh, fan, this is the front fan. So, basically, the rear fan will, will be always running uh, more speed than the front one. Okay, so this is using the uh, factory settings. As you can see here, uh, I didn't specify any uh, any uh, any fan speed uh, duty. So this is what we get after ten minutes of uh, running the miner. So the uh, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna try to lower the speed and keep keep the the temperature as low as low as possible i'm gonna go with 40 percent here and i'm gonna apply that and see how much uh, noise we're gonna reduce Okay, that just was the, uh, the since I restart the miner, so it was a test, fan test. So uh, I'm gonna let it uh, boot again and let it run for another ten minutes, and we'll be back. Okay, just reduce the uh, fan speed to forty percent, <coughs> uh, but the noise is still. Uh, still the same so if we check the fan speed it's still running at 3500 something so the fan speed is really is still high so what what i'm gonna try to do is i'm gonna try to reduce the fan speed even further uh let, let's say get it to around 3000 rpm and then uh, we will see uh how much noise we can reduce from that and 
basically we need to we need to check the temps as well so if if you reduce the noise and your miner is running on high temps then we don't want, we don't want to do that so i'm going to go with 30% and save and restart the miner again Okay, so uh, we just reduced the uh, the fan speed to 30% the recycle, and then actually what we can see here, the fan speed is way lower. And actually, you can hear the background that the miner it's not that noisy. It's then the fans run right now are running at around 2700, uh, but the temps are a little bit higher. Nothing high to worry about, but I just like to keep them uh, around 60 degrees. Uh, so what I'm gonna do right now, instead of using 30%, I'm gonna use, let's say, 33%. If we can get the fan speed to stay stable around 3000 RPM, I think that they're gonna be uh, good enough to uh, keep the temps around 60 degrees. So I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna hit save and apply, and. Uh, we will we will see how how it goes from there. Okay, here you can hear the noise level right now as the fans are running at. Uh, 3000 RPM and as you can hear you can compare the, the noise level before and after reducing the fan speed now the, the noise is way lower and the temps are basically just a bit higher than before which is not very concerning I will let the miner run for 10 minutes and we will compare the temperatures uh, before and after adjusting the fan speed. Okay, so we have to adjust the fan speed to 33% to recycle, and the miner has been running for uh, eight minutes right now. So as you can see, the temps are much lower, and the speed, the fan speed is around 3,000 RPM. So we can say that this settings is perfect for this miner but just bear in mind there is no magical number for your uh, fan speed uh, duty cycle so you can adjust that according to uh, to your uh, environment temperature so if you get a higher temperatures here you can just increase your duty cycle but for me this will work it's uh, all all the uh, hash ports now. All the chips are running less than uh, sixty degrees uh, Celsius at three thousand RPM uh, fan speed. Just keep in mind if you're gonna adjust your uh, your fan speed, just make sure to check this box, which will uh, stop the miner, stop running the miner when the temps are over eighty degrees uh, Celsius. So just in case if something goes wrong or if there is a sudden change in uh, the temps within your mining environment, so at least your 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 miner will shut down and uh, at least it will give you a warning that there is something is going on on your miner, so you can adjust your your fan speed. But basically, uh, the noise as it's right now, it's way it's way quieter than before. I'm running the miner in the background just next to me, uh, but I don't think it's uh, too much noise. Uh, this will depend on your temperature, but in some some environments, I think you can even lower there that uh, the fan speed to 2,500 if you ha if you're running your miner in a cooler cooler uh, environment. Right now, I'm running the miner within my office so it's in a closed environment and it still can get uh, those temps which is really good okay so from here we're gonna go 
to the next uh, option where we where we can adjust our minor uh, noise uh, using a different different fan. So what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna I'm gonna reset the minor settings for the fan speed to run uh, at factory settings, and we're gonna swap the uh, the the fans themselves and see uh, how much noise we can reduce from there. Okay, so that was the first option where you can adjust your uh, fan and speed uh, using the software. Uh, so basically, other, other, you know, after, after third party uh, firmware will offer maybe more uh, control over the, uh, the miner. There are a lot of uh, options there, such as uh, Hive OS, you have the Awesome Miner, and, and other softwares as well. But for, for this test, we just used the, uh, the, uh, the original software from the factory, which gives you the option to control your fan speed. Uh, so we, we did that, and we reduced the noise from, from the miner. What we're going to do now is we going to do the second options where you can actually uh, change the hardware itself. So we're going to switch the fans to these ones. This is like a uh, ball bearing, uh, double ball bearing uh, fan and it's running at maximum speed of 3000 RPM, which is very low. So this is useful where you don't have, uh, where you don't have access to uh, your fan speed adjustment uh, because uh, some other uh, manufacturers such as, let's say, Eno Silicon, have done that on the uh, different miner, which is the same, uh, mining the same uh, algorithm. Uh, I've done the same thing on the A4 Plus. The A4 Plus doesn't give you the, the choice to adjust your fan speed, so it does that uh, automatically. So what I did is I had to sw swap the, the fans to a uh, lower speed fans. And actually it worked, so the, the temps were still low and the noise was reduced a lot, a lot. I mean, it was a lot quieter than, than the, the stop ones. So in that, in that particular case, if you're not using the L3 Plus or the uh, Antminer uh, firmware, what you can do is you have only the choice to uh, change your fans. But just keep in mind, you have to, you have to try different, different fans, different speeds until you get where you re can reduce the noise from your miner. But at the same time, you gonna keep your miner running properly uh, with uh, without you know compromising the uh, the miner uh, safety. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna try to swap the, these two uh, fans uh, and we're gonna run the uh, stock settings on the miner and we we will show you how much noise we can reduce from there. Okay, so we just swapped the fans. Those are the, the original ones. They came with a came with the miner, and we just swapped our, our low speed uh, 
fans. So what we're gonna do now is just turn on the miner and just let it run within uh, this, the factory settings. So we don't have to change anything for the software. We just swap the, uh, the fans. Just keep in mind that at the beginning, at the startup, the fans will run uh, at higher speed. But after that, the miner itself will adjust uh, the speed uh, according to the, to the temperature. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on and you guys can see how much noise we're gonna be reducing, just swapping the fans. And after that, we go through the computer, let it run for another 10 minutes and compare the temps uh, to the original uh, fans. You can hear right now the uh, the noise is a, a, a way way lower than before. Even at the start up, before when the miner starts up, the fan just kicks in like really really fast, spinning really fast, so create a lot of noise. But right now, even at the start up, we can we can notice that the uh, the noise is way lower than before. Both fans are running, front and the, the front and the rear one. We're gonna let it run for 10 minutes and show you basically the the uh, temperature level as well as the uh, fan speed. Okay, so after changing the fans, the miner has been running for 5 minutes. Uh, this is the level of noise you're getting from the miner. It's way quieter than before uh, compared to the stock, uh, the, original, the original fans. And we're still using the uh, stock settings from the factory. So, and the fans are really, really running uh, at the lower speed, but still the temperatures are uh, are still in the acceptable uh, range, as I'm gonna, I'm, I'm going to show you on the on the minor interface. Okay, as you can see here right now, the uh, minor has been running for eight minutes, maybe a little bit more. Uh, okay, eight minutes and a half. The temperatures are low. Fan speed, as you can see here, this is running at 2,000 RPM. This one is running at 3,000 RPM. Uh, the miner is running uh, in the background, but it's way quieter than before. So this is another option if you want to reduce your uh, miner's noise. Just just keep an eye on the uh, temperature, so you don't you don't you don't compromise your 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 ASIC miner uh, operation. So this is a very effective way of uh, of reducing noise from the ASIC miner, but this is requiring uh, requiring a uh, in new fans that you you will need to purchase. But the first option it, it's free of charge, so you don't have to add anything. It's just using the stock fans and adjusting your uh, miner's uh, fan speed. As you can see here, we're running the uh, the uh, the stock settings here, so we we haven't changed anything here. So it's just running with the uh, stock software settings, and the temps are really really acceptable, and the fan speed is way lower than before, and the noise is much better than before. This is this is very uh, very effective. Alright guys, so here we have the, uh, the two options, so I showed you how to uh, reduce your noise, the noise of the, your ASIC miner uh, through the software and also uh, where you can s s swap your, 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 your fans to a better ones, to a lower speed fans, a more efficient one. <clears throat> In this case, I think it's better if you're using any uh, 
the L3 plus or the L3 double plus from Bitmain. I think you don't have to, to change your fans, you can just do that through the software. So it's, it's a cheap way to reduce the noise from your ASIC miner. But if you're using a different, a different brand such as you know, Silicon where you have the A4, A4+, plus, A6, A6+, plus, where you don't have access to the, uh, where, where you don't have the option to adjust your fan speed, I think you're left, you're left with the option of uh, changing your, uh, your fans. Uh, for now, these miners are still profitable, so a lot of people using them, so especially mining at home. It's, so it's very crucial for people to uh, reduce noise as much as possible. But keep in mind that you, you're gonna adjust the speed of your fans, but you want to keep your uh, ASIC miner running cool. So you don't have to run, you don't wanna run high attempts because that's gonna just compromise your miner and you know, putting it at risk of overheating. Even though, even though that the software itself has like uh, safety features like shutting down uh, if your miner goes uh, above 80, 80 degrees uh, Celsius but still you, you want to keep your, your, your miner cool and uh, running as cool as possible okay guys so these are the options I hope you guys uh, enjoy the video and learn something from, from this uh, experiment and if you like the, if you like the video Give, give us a thumbs up uh, if you want us to do uh, a test on a different miner please uh, put that on the comment section and thank you for watching